from Appleton, Wisconsin. This is APTV. Welcome to APTV episode 498 for Thursday, July 6, 2023. This week we have news, banter, updates, pen party door prizes, a report on Twisby Eco Heat, a spotlight on Lamy Dialogues, a contest winner, a new contest, plus two new Sailor 50 State Inks that are coming soon. Hey, Lisa. I was hoping <clears throat> you forgot the joke. No, 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 oh, no. Did I tell you um, no. recently, um, in all my spare time, <laughs> I, I, That's I, funny. I applied for a job uh, <laughs> working uh, as a carpenter's assistant. <laughs> <laughs> Did I tell you this? No, so, so there was, I went to the interview. <laughs> and they wanted they they asked me to, uh, to to show them my skills with a piece of wood. <laughs> I nailed it. <laughs> Location bumper. <laughs> we made Justin laugh. <laughs> Location bumper is the Honey Baked Ham Company just down the uh, plaza from us. The first Honey Baked Ham store opened in 1957 in Detroit, Michigan. Uh, the company now has over 400 locations across the U.S., and one such location is right here in Appleton on Wisconsin Ave in the very same shopping center where you will now find our store. Yeah, so you can come here and then go have lunch. Yes. and, and it's, it is pre- this, it's pretty amazing. It's pretty awesome. The yeah. staff is super <clears throat> friendly. The food's really good. The portions are big. Um, the cookies are really great. Yep. Just saying. So. so, all right. Awesome. What else? Uh, this Saturday, July 8th, is National Blueberry Day. Woo! Uh, blueberries are delicious and an excellent source of fiber, vitamin C, and antioxidants. Mm. They also contain compounds that can help reduce inflammation. National Blueberry Day is celebrated in July because that is when the fruit starts to ripen. I love blueberries. Uh, I used to pick blueberries when I was a kid. Did you? In Canada. Yes, really? With my grandmother. It's very cool. Okay. All right, we have some news. Uh, the Estherbrook JR Paradise pens, only the Paradise pens, are on sale for the entire month of June. So those five colors, I can take a couple of those. A couple of those? I want the, I want the fruity ones. The fruity ones? Yeah. Here's the orange is fruity. All right. So we have the Blue Breeze, the Purple Passion, Key Lime, Orange Sunset, and Lemon Twist. Um, so these five are on sale for $125, and that's down from um, an MSRP of $175, and so the street price was $147.50, I believe. Yeah, something like that. So, yeah, so they're $125. Uh, $125 for the month of July. Journal or nibs, uh, there's, there's still the special a, a nibs are separate. Slight upcharge. Yeah. Yes. So, but uh, number five, size nib. Um, steel, of course, made by Yovo. I have a couple of the JR size. I really like them. Extra fine, fine, medium, broad, 1.1. 1. 1. Stub. Uh, and you can also get a journal. Yes. So good, uh, good looking colors. They have the two tone kind of a different. Uh, I know the. Mi- you know, I got the key lime on top of the purple passion. Those two swap out the yellow and the blue, and then the orange has got blue on the top. So um, they're all related. Well, real nice looking pens, and these are the um, the same size as the original Estherbrook J. So, uh, if you look at it, and, and it's actually good size in the hand, uh, but uh, in the day, in the nineteen late forties and nineteen fifties, this was the the full size pen in the Estherbrook lineup. So, those are on sale uh, for the entire month of July. Awesome. Um, some price changes. Kaweco has a price increase that is going to take uh, effect on July 10th. And according to um, the distributor, it's become necessary to increase the prices on just a few of the products. The um, Classic, the Skyline, and the Frosted Pens have kept the current pricing for the last 10 years. And so many of the metal collections will remain unchanged. Um, there will be minor adjustments to some of the uh, metals and accessories, and so we will have a more uh, we'll have more information uh, once we kind of distill down what is and isn't changing. Yeah, from what I see, it's very small, yeah. like just like a, a few dollars. Uh, I think some of the twenty-five dollar ones I think went to twenty-eight. 
Um, so, so not too but bad. But you still have a couple days uh, if you want to look at some of your Kuwaiko pens t- to get it at the old pricing. There you go. So July 10th. Now, big news. something we're kind of really excited about. This has been a long time coming, uh, quite literally. Oh, over a year, I think. Uh, yeah, it's getting close to a year. Um, so last year, Cross, who was the owner of Schaefer, sold it yes. to William Penn, who was the um, the largest retailer. Th- retailer in India. And they were, the, they were the Indian distributor for Schaefer. Bought the company from Cross. Uh, and so now we finally have uh, we have distribution set up in the United States, and we finally have pens in in product is actually flowing back in. Um, so uh, for now we've got a, a, a trimmed down catalog, as it yes. were. But there's some pretty cool things and things we haven't had in a long time. I'm excited to see these. Uh, yeah. Primarily, the the two lines are going to be Schaefer 100 and the Schaefer 300, um, and. Uh, like I said, we, we don't we don't have every model and every color and every uh, writing mode, but we're we're pretty close. Uh, and 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 as stuff comes in, you know, we have a lot of stuff on back order. So right. fountain pen, rollerball, ballpoint. But the one hundred is this uh, more the more slender model. Now both both the one hundred and three hundred carry the same uh, for the fountain pen. Use the same nib. Um, so the the 100 is a little bit more of a, a slender model, and this is this is a new model here for us, the bright chrome with gold trim. Um, and I've got a roller ball, and then there's a fountain pen. Um, nice gold section, but this is a shiny shiny chrome, which is kind of cool. Um, it comes in a couple of other versions, of course, a classic black with gold. The glossy blue. Love this color. Which is a very nice, nice color. Yeah. So um, I was really happy when Schaefer came out with the gloss blue and a couple of the others a um, couple years before they made a previous transition. And, yeah, uh, any color. I mean, Schaefer's been fairly conservative for the last, for a long time. Yes. It's, it, it's black. It's black with chrome. It's black with gold. It's all black. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes black. Yeah. Uh, but... Uh, to come out with a blue or, 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 or different colors is really great. So 300 is, is the, the chunkier pen. Um, and this this is a great pen. I love this pen. Um, it posts, it snaps on to post, love which that. is pretty cool. I love that it snaps on, it catches, so you are not going <laughs> to lose it. That's an expensive camera over there. Um, uh, it's an expensive uh, videographer, too. The, so. <laughs> the, uh, the 300 has a, has a spring clip too, so if, if, if you're the type that wants to put your your pen in your, your pants pocket, um, this this really has a large amount of travel and, and it's very tight. Uh, so there's a black with chrome, classic black with uh, with chrome. This is one of the newer model, the newer colors. So it's the all black. Yep. Now it uses, does use the the, the sta- standard stainless steel nib. Um, Again with the gloss blue. Gloss blue, which is nice, and pro- probably the best seller. And, th- and this is this is a great pen, the black with gold. Uh, probably our one of our number this and the rollerball number one sellers in the store for um, for gifts. Um, we were really, really um, I don't want to say hurting, but disappointed uh, last Christmas when um, yeah. they hadn't come out with anything new, and these had been such a staple. Um, in both I didn't, I didn't stores, even want especially new. Just, just wanted um, this product for Christmas for gifts, yeah. and so it's really awesome to have these back. So then we've got the bright chrome with gold uh, again in the three hundred. Really, really sharp, sharp looking pens. Yeah. Um, fountain pens all have stainless steel nibs. Uh, most of the fountain pens come in medium only, although there are some that are that do come in fine. And from what I understand, fine and medium will be available in all of the fountain pens uh, at some point. So. Um, but, we're, uh, we're still going through a rolling change with them as they slowly roll out other things. Um, there's not going to be much in the line of bottled ink right away, um, things like that. So it's but, but we're, we're getting things, and that's a step in the right direction. We're getting it as they get it. So yes. uh, Schaefer con- piston converters are now available, uh, and uh, ballpoint refills are now available. So we yes. had we've had blue in the past, and then now. Uh, now black is back, so that's good if you have a Schaefer ballpoint that uses that K-style refill. 
they are they are now available. So yeah. it's pretty exciting to see this back. Um, and, and, and if you like, a, a, and, and the best part I think is these are not terribly uh, expensive. It's a really good value. It's a solid yeah. weight pen. Um, these are a great back to school gift, a great Father's Day gift. You know, it's a shame they didn't come in before Father's Day, but um, these make a, a really good gift. I personally like the 100 size. It does post for me. If you follow us, you know I like a pen that posts. Um, comfortable in the hand. Uh, the metal section, it doesn't have a huge step. In fact, there's barely a step at all, which I really like. Um, so it's super, super comfortable. So Schaefer's back and, yes, uh, and there you go. that's super exciting. So, awesome. What's all next? Right. Pen party. <laughs> We're going to talk about the pen party. Great. All right. Great. Uh, so you may or may not know we are having a grand reopening. That's what it says. Pen party. I, I Exclamation I point. Uh, we are having a grand reopening here in the new store. That will be July 21st, 22nd, 23rd, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I got it right this time. Yes, there you go. Right month. That's a good thing. Uh, we will be having door prizes every hour on the hour from 11 a.m. through 5 p.m. on Friday and Saturday. And then um, depending on, I think we have more gifts than time. Slots, yeah, yeah. so we probably, we probably will be <clears throat> doubling up. Uh, some things may even roll over to Sunday, but I will see. Um, but we've got uh, ink, notebooks, pens, accessories, gift certificates, um, and writing instruments worth up to over fifteen hundred dollars. Yep. yep. So you could win one. So we've got a list here. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the most current updated list. Um, and I think there's more stuff that's not on here. Uh, yes. Visconti Homo Sapiens Dual Touch uh, Cognac Fountain Pen. Uh, that is uh, going in the Friday 3 p.m. drawing. Yes. So if you're running on Friday, that we're giving that away on Friday. Uh, Pelican M200 Golden Barrel Fountain Pen. Uh, two Pelican Twists. I forgot about those yep. fountain pens. Those are fun. Uh, Retro 51 uh, will not have a sales rep here, but they did send us a couple gifts that are really nice. Um there's a Retro 51 uh, Tiffany Parrot and Jogwood Rollerball and Pencil Set. There is a Tesla Fountain Pen, uh, a Dino Fossil Fountain Pen, and three Retro 51 T-shirts. Those are kind of cool. Um, we've got uh, we've got a Myora Aventus uh, Fountain Pen. I forgot about that. Yep. Uh, DuPont is uh, donating a Defee Millennium Fountain Pen, uh, and that is going in our Saturday 3 p.m. drawing. Um, so the, the Visconti Homo Sapiens Dual Touch and the ST DuPont Defee Millennium Fountain Pen are both like the bigger, the prizes. bigger, bigger prizes. And so one will be Friday at 3 o'clock. One will be Saturday at 3 o'clock. Although we've also got a Visconti Opera Gold Fountain yes. Pen, which is a super cool pen. That's I love awesome. that one. Um, and we've got a Cross Bailey gift set. We've got uh, a Roshizuku three-pack of ink. We've got some Herbin ink. Uh, Lamy notebook. Um, we've got a pen cleaning kit and um, several other things from a couple other companies that um, they've been committed to, but we don't have specifics. So something from Sailor, something from Lamy. We'll have some gift with purchases from Lamy, um, and so all Esther sorts Brooke of stuff. and Pilot to, yes. be, to be announced. Absolutely. So, yeah. Uh, do we want to give in, get in, uh, um, get into the the giveaway rules? Just a little bit. Um, you have to be 16 or older to enter. Uh, no purchase is necessary. On Friday and Saturday, you don't have to be present to win, but you do have to pick up and claim your prize by Saturday at five o'clock. Um, on Sunday, you do have to be present to win. So if you don't pick up your prize by uh, Saturday at five. It's it gets, it's going to get rolled over into Sunday. Right. So um, you just have to pick up your phone. Yeah. <laughs> and let us know you're coming. Yeah. Giveaway prizes, and and we shouldn't have to say this, but we we had to come up with some rules. Giveaway prizes cannot be returned or exchanged. All giveaways are a final gift. Um, there is one prize per person per day. So yes, you could come Friday, you could come Saturday, you could win a prize each day, but you only win one prize per person per day. Uh, prizes cannot be um, exchanged, 
uh, or uh, I already said that. Yeah. Yep. So uh, we 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 reserve the right to change, substitute, or cancel prices without notice. Yes, if we discover okay. there's something or one of the vendors changes what they want to give us. All gift with purchase items are while supplies last. Um, the main daily big prize will be drawn at 3 p.m. on Friday and 3 p.m. on Saturday. And the rules are subject to change without notice. Oh, that's a whole lot of legalese. Let's move on to something yeah, a little, little more fun, fun. But, well, you have to have the rules. Oh, yeah, you got to have rules. All right. So Next otherwise up. Otherwise, you're going to have people bringing in their toddlers and saying they won. <laughs> That doesn't quite work. How do cows stay up to date? They read the moose paper. Actually in and out and coming back in, uh, Twisby Eco Heat. Uh, so it came in and sold out immediately. We immediately got more on order. Um, but it's a clear acrylic body, just like the standard Eco, with a darker orange cap and turning knob, uh, silver trim, piston ink filling system. Uh, and of course, smooth writing steel nib and screw on cap. I like it, it looks kind of like an habanero, and then you've got the red Twisby logo, really looks yeah. sharp. Uh, yeah. I like how it looks. Um, only uses bottle ink, of course, uh, and the clear body, of course, allows you to see the uh, level of ink remaining in the pen at all times. Which can also distract you in meetings. <laughs> uh, and the cap has an inner cap liner that maintains a thorough seal when the pen is not in use. Uh, and there are no separate nib units for the pen, but you could buy two. two. It's a good value. Uh, so if, uh, if, you, if you didn't get one, sign up for the back and stock notification. They should be arriving uh, sometime later this week. Yeah, with the holiday, that might disrupt yeah, shipping yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Dialogue CC. Um, come in two colors. Dark blue this is my favorite. This one's awesome. With the rose gold. Yeah, it's got rose gold trim. Um, and this is a newly conceptualized version of the Dialogue Three, which we're going to talk about in a minute. Um, it's got a shortened upper section with a refined end plate and anti-roll top instead of a clip. So no clip, but you've got the Lamy logo here. And this is this is very similar to um, like on the Pico. The, the Pico ballpoint has this little roll stop. Um, but uh, it's a compact format. It houses this unique twist mechanism, and, uh, which extends and retr retracts the nib. Uh, it's a gold, uh, gold nib with platinum and rose gold uh, plating. So it gives it a really, really um, even more emotional allure, as it were. It's a cool look. Um, it comes with uh, with a cartridge, the Z27 ink converter, and uh, and it also comes with a leather pen sleeve. But it's just so nice, neat. It's got this little rounded end here. It's just beautiful. you got your rose gold covered That blue, end there. when they first came out, the, they, they greatly underestimated the appeal of the blue. And it sold out immediately, and it was really hard to get. Then back you couldn't in get. Stock. Then you couldn't get. Yeah. yeah, and then there's a piano white version. Very pretty. Um, but really, nice. no, 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 no. Obviously, no you can't can't put it in your pocket. Well, but you could. It'll just you flop could, around. But you could put it in your pen case. Yes. Um, but so I love this pen. Really, really great. Now you compare this to the Lamy Dialogue Three. So it's a little bit shorter, and of course the Dialogue Three's got the clip. Um, so this is a revolutionary pen that has no separate cap. I'll take that off. These are cool. Um, and so of course, same same function. The nib slides from the barrel, and the clip ret and it, uh, retracts into the body of the pen. So uh, there's a ball valve which closes off the opening to protect the nib from drying out and uh, preventing debris or pocket lint from entering, I suppose. Uh, and then the clip kind of lifts up like that um, so you can put it in your pen case or your, your pocket. Um, smooth also, inner, go ahead. Uh, also comes with the uh, Lamy ink cartridge and the Z27 just like the Dialog CC. Um, and uh, What's cool about these is, is, is the, the nib unit is actually threaded into there so it doesn't, it doesn't come out until you unscrew it. And the pen comes with a, a little adapter that you can thread in here, which helps you open the, the end here for easy cleaning. So you can just kind of flush that out if you get some ink in there. Now, the one thing I will say is if you have a couple of these, um, because of the way it's, it's set up, while you can just swap this into another unit, 
The problem is, is they may not line up. So they're individually set up based on those threads so that it opens up at the correct spot coming out the top of the top of the nib. So if you don't screw it in just right, it's yeah. not quite so lined up. That comes in uh, my favorite, the palladium, which is really nice. They also do the a piano white, piano which is white. really pretty. Piano black. And then the matte black. And there's a matte black. Very cool. So all with uh, all with 14 karat uh, gold nibs. So a different take on a retractable fountain pen. Um, a little chunkier than, let's say, the uh, Pilot Vanishing Point. Um, so if you like a slightly bigger, fatter, heavier pen, but you want something that's retractable, this is definitely a great yeah. option. Yeah, it's a great pen. I really like it. So. Awesome. Do you have one? I do not have one, no. I've been, I've, I, it's, on, it's on the short list, sort of. Okay. Your short list keeps getting longer. Well, there's maybe three or four pens on the short list. Okay. You're going to have to share those with me later. All right. Very good. All right. Um, another spotlight, Diamine Shimmer Inks. Now, I'm not a huge fan generally of shimmer inks, um, but I do like them in certain circumstances. So I just wanted to uh, talk a little bit about the, the Diamine. They have a ton of different shimmer colors, and they're all uh, really fun. Uh, one thing to remember is when you get your bottle or your sample, it's going to have all the shimmer settled at the bottom. So you want to lava lamp it. You don't want to shake it like a margarita because that's going to make a big mess and bubbles. Uh, but you do want to agitate this so that you get the uh, shimmer back in suspension. Mixed, mixed thoroughly. Yep, yep. absolutely. Uh, but they come in tons of colors. You've got quite a, a big, these are what, 50 mil bottle. Um, I think they're really, the bottle is really pretty. I'm, I like okay. good packaging. Uh, but lots and lots of fun colors all over the spectrum. And so the cap indicates the color of the, the shimmer. The color of the shimmer. So yeah. this one, for example, the Firestorm Red has silver shimmer. The Inferno Orange has gold shimmer. Um, and so that's also, you can tell on the box, outlined in silver or gold. But, yeah, uh, let me see that blue one. What do you got there? Blue pearl. No, let me see oh. the pearl. I don't want the <laughs> box. The box? <laughs> Give me that. This looks like, this reminds me of, um, actually, the, there's one called the Enchanted Ocean, I think. Yes. Um, and that reminds me of a couch my grandmother used to have. <laughs> it was like this, this turquoise with these little silver threads in it. It was yep. maybe the most hideous thing ever. I'm sure it was like all the rage back in the day, but... Um, but so a pretty ink color reminds you of grandma's bad couch? It reminds couch? me of my, my grandma's bad couch, okay. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. But, um, yeah, just really pretty colors. And if you're into shimmer, um, you know, I know a lot of companies have, have recently gotten into it. Diamine and uh, Herbin were the first to release some shimmer. And um, Diamine has really just gone all in. Yeah. And yeah. there's every, every Every color, every yeah. color of shimmer. <laughs> but uh, the trick is definitely to shake it. And when you are using your pen, don't forget to gently agitate yeah, wanna... it while you're using it. Or if you put your pen down to go get a cup of coffee or answer the phone or something, when you come back, you do need to gently agitate it again. They can, they can settle pretty quick. Yes. They can settle pretty quick. Yep. I just found out I'm colorblind. The news came out of the purple. We had a contest in last week's uh, we APTV. did. Um, <laughs> Someone was really unhappy for me that I couldn't win. Well, <laughs> you get me, so what more do you need? Um, yes. So all, you, all you had to do was wish, wish me a happy birthday in the comments. Yes. Uh, so start. Is this the whole list? I There's don't know, but... There you this go. was this Read was the off. list as of this morning. Say thank you. Um, and I did try to reply to to quite a few of the folks uh, in the comments. So happy birthday wishers, happy birthday wishers, uh, Paul, John, Penny, Summer Pearls, Madi, William, Marcy, Don, Goldilocks Zone, Timothy, Mary's Inks, Brian, Peggy, Harold, Tracy Lee, Amica, Elise, Tamara, Tom, Speedbird, Notes from Past, Amy, Michelle. That's a fun name. Notes from Past, Amy, Michelle, Wayne. Suvin R.K., Lisa Marie, Friedrich, uh, Richard, Ira, Ira, 
Mara, Linda, Robin, Michael, Dexter, Cygnus X, David, Eddie, Ed, Glenn, Steve, Walt, Debbie, Pens and Pencils, Emily, The Architect. Cool. Pam, Beth, Gretchen, Dan, Plan Budget Disney, Ben, <laughs> nice. Ben, Karen, Eric, uh, Karina loves to plan. Karina loves to plan. Andrew, Rich, James, Marilyn, Scott, Clark, Bob, uh, Christian, Ryan, Andy, Paul, another Paul, uh, Shu, seventy-seven, John, C. Fox, Made by Dawn, John, Daniel, Blue, J. Chu, Song of the Healer, Tim Chi, Plan, Create, Cope, Angela, Cindy, Carol, Edward, Johnny, Arabella, Como, Miss Marilyn, Darling, Primary Death, Court, Heist, Chi, Tog, and Maggie. Okay. Do you need a drink? You need a breath? That's a lot. So, it was uh, really sweet. Yeah, so, Thank uh, you. I everybody. really appreciate it. So I guess we've got a couple comments Happy here. Happy birthday, we can, honey. We can. Uh, Beth G said, "I hope you enjoy your birthday. And since I'm flying into Appleton tomorrow morning, maybe I can wish you a belated birthday in person when I get to make my first visit ever to a pen store." And I do uh, believe and she did. Yes, Beth was here. Yes. All right. Paul Herman says, "Hope you have a wonderful birthday, Brian. May you get that Grail pen you want." Then he says, where should I send the sympathy card, Lisa? A bit of irony, the 29th is also Mud Day. Hmm. He gave you a joke. I did. Uh, oh, he gave me a joke. Okay. When is being ankle deep in mud worse than being waist deep? And the answer is when you're, you're upside, upside down. down. Very good. I did get the grill pen that I wanted, though. You did? I got that, uh, that Parker, du- uh, Parker Duo fold. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, John Amoroso, happy birthday, Brian. You should stop resisting and just let Lisa get you a pen. Yeah, you know, maybe I should. <laughs> anyway, William Brockman, happy birthday, Brian. What a birthday present, a new store. Congrats. Uh, and actually, our Lamy counter came in, too. So apparently, that's my present yes. as well. Um, happy 29th, Brian, uh, from Amika. Hope you had a wonderful birthday. Take care of yourself. 29 never looked so good. Uh, Steve Ruckel says, Brian, happy birthday. May this year be your best year ever, and I think it deserves a new vet in the same color as your rare jewel fold. Steve, we're going to have to talk. You know, I'm, 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 we looked long and hard to get our vet, and the Navy, Navy, Navy Blue Metallic to get is, your vet. is the yes. color. So. She is beautiful, she is. I will tell you that. Uh, so we have a winner. Yes. Uh, Madi Garavi uh, says, happy birthday, Brian. Your response to Lisa, thank you. You're not eligible. <laughs> Was hilarious and adorable. Uh, congratulations, Madi. Uh, write to eric at andersonpens.com. We'll take care of getting that uh, uh, 50, what is it, $52, 52. credit on, your, on your, your Anderson Pens account. So we've got a new contest, new we survey. We do. Um, so the new contest uh, survey is it's summer here in the Northern Hemisphere. And for many, that means vacations. And holiday trips. We could use a vacation. Yes, yes. I think um, so. Do you have a travel pen? Or one or more pens that must go with you on vacation? Do you not take any pens? Uh, do you decide which pen or pens to take in advance or at the last minute? Let us know in the comments section. One commenter will be chosen at random to win a $20 store credit on his or her Anderson Pens account. Yeah, I don't know that I have a vacation, a travel pen. I usually, if it's something I don't want to lose, I don't take it. Right. So, but cartridge converter, of course. Uh, it, you know, and now that we've got like TSA pre-check and clear when we fly. It's a little easier. It's a little bit easier. I don't feel as, as nervous uh, about uh, people. Well, when we went to Florida when I was dog sitting, what did you bring? Uh, <laughs> what did I bring? Uh, I think I brought two DuPonts, a DuPont ballpoint, and a Retro 51 ballpoint. Okay. So. Um, I think I brought at least one of my vanishing points. Um, definitely a DuPont. I had a Sailor. I had a Vintage Pilot. Um, a bunch. I, I only brought four. Two. two well, I was there longer. Well, yes. And a um, couple uh, roller balls. Okay. But, uh, yeah. Well, I look forward to sharing, seeing what, uh, what some people say. Sailor has announced the release of two more uh, 50 state inks, 50 U.S. states inks, uh, Massachusetts and South Carolina. Uh, Massachusetts is a warm autumn orange color, uh, supposed to be inspired by an afternoon spent walking through the sun-dappled forests as the leaves begin to fall. (laughs) What? The sun-dappled forests? I didn't write it. (laughs) 
about fall leaves okay, and walking okay. in the fall leaves as they're but it's summer. It's like 7,000 degrees out. I know. And then uh, South Carolina is a um, color that is inspired by the state's official gemstone, the amethyst. Hmm. Uh, amethysts come in a wide variety of purples, from gentle lilac to deep mulberry and everything in between. Some amethysts even come in green. This one is not green. Okay. Um, it's a vibrant plum color. Okay. So, excited about those. Uh, Sailor makes such great ink. Absolutely. So. Rinses out easily. Well behaved. Can't go wrong with a really pretty Sailor ink. So. Uh, those are coming soon, so you can sign up for the back and stock notifications. Uh, we should mention they come in 20 milliliter bottles. Yes. Uh, they also come in three milliliter samples, so if you just want to give it a shot, uh, you can get the uh, get the sample. Try before you buy. So, uh, anything else this week? No, that's it. We are officially open. We are, I think, pretty much unpacked. Yeah, we're we're we're, we're operational. Yes, uh, we, we're still finding different ways to put things around, but that's, that's we've all right. hung some decor. We still have a little bit more to to put out, but uh, we're getting there. I just noticed there's a waterman mirror over there. And that doesn't belong there. So no. I don't, I don't I, know we, why it's there. Because we didn't put it up before, but that's a very special gift from George and yes. his dad. Yes. So uh, so we're we're still making tweaks, but uh, come on in, and um, it's fun to watch things evolve. Yeah. So, so. Uh, I think that's it. Thanks for joining us. Tune in next time for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. You can check us out on social media as Anderson Pens, and please like this video and subscribe to our channel. And if we're doing the pen in the pocket. We are doing the pen in the pocket. This is my long lost Father's Day <laughs> gift. <laughs> because we sort of sort of forgot about it. Uh, and and you, this is the only pen you and I actually have the same pen. Twinsies. Uh, we have twinsies. The exact same nib, exact same pen. Uh, the ST DuPont Line D Medium um, in this blue I didn't lose it. Shade. Well, you sort of forgot it was there for a couple of weeks, and you kept going, oh, well, what pen? So anyway, that's what's in the box. There you go. So Father's Day, bam. Nice. <laughs> Bye.